everyone, I'm Lexi, and today we are going to show you how to install a Luminize kit. Today I have Jonathan with me. Thanks Lexi, I'm here at Manitowoc Ice today in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. And we're going to be installing a Luminize kit today on your Indigo Ice Machine and show you how easy that is to do. Now if you're not comfortable with it, you're going to need to contact a Manitowoc service representative. Um, it's a fairly straightforward installation, so you should be okay, but there's going to be some electric Evolve, so if you're not comfortable with that, talk to one of our service representatives. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and we'll get started. So for equipment you need to do this installation, uh, you just use the basic tools. So you need a 5 16 nut driver or a 16 screwdriver that has a 5 16 attachment on it, some safety glasses, and some gloves to protect your hands while you're doing this. All right, so these are the parts that come in the Luminize kit. This is kit number K00450, and this kit will work for the smaller Indigo Ice machines. So this is the, probably the most popular one, so we're gonna take a look at this one today. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is power down this ice machine so we can start our installation of the Luminize. So I'm gonna remove the front cover. There's a screw up in the top area, and then one down in the bottom. You can just loosen up. And then the front door should swing open, no need to remove it just yet. And then you'll find the power button located right on this top left part of the control panel. Press the power button, and we'll power it So down. it's really important that we disconnect power from the ice machine before we do any work on any electrical apparatus. So we gotta pull that plug out from the outlet and disconnect it. Now if it's hardwired in, you're gonna need to find a circuit breaker or a disconnect and if you turn the circuit breaker off, make sure you lock out, tag out that circuit breaker. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is remove the panels on the machine so we can access it to install that Luminize kit. So I'm gonna take the front panel off first. There's a spring-loaded hinge right here that you don't need a screwdriver to undo. You can just push down the metal point on it as you grab the door, and it will spring-load and release the door from the unit. The next thing we're going to do is remove the top panel, no screws again. You can just push up on the top panel and then push it back and lift it off the unit. And then we'll remove the two side panels once again. We do not need to remove any screws out of these panels to make service much easier. And there's my unit with the panels off. So the next step we're gonna take is removing the dust cover and the covers to access the vents for the luminized kit. So we're gonna move this top black rubber cover off the unit, and then we're gonna remove the top evaporator extrusion cover. And this can be discarded because a new one comes in the kit for this unit. And then we're gonna remove the covers for the tubes that go in the machines. And to do this, we poke them out from the back. Uh, and sometimes they might pop right out and fall into the machine. So we're gonna pop the lower one out too. Now on this one, when you pop it out, it's gonna fall down into the water trough underneath. And then you can retrieve it from the water trough and it can be discarded. Here's the dust covers that we removed from the bulkhead earlier they can be discarded. So this is the Luminize mountain bracket that comes with a kit. The holes are pre-drilled for that mountain bracket to go in. So no need to drill anything. You can line the bracket up with the holes and then the kit is supplied with the mounting hardware screws that go in the three holes to mount the bracket to the unit. There are two installation brackets for the hoses to go on that mount in the machine. You'll see that one is shorter, one is longer. The longer one goes on the insert in the top and the shorter one goes in the lower hole. So now we're gonna assemble the Luminize module itself. There are two flexible hoses that come with it. The longer one goes on the left side, which is the metal tube and the shorter one goes on the right side, which is the black plastic tube. And then we'll put the clamps on these two hoses as well to keep them secure. 
one clamp on the short hose and the second clamp on the long hose. And then you can place the unit down into the mounting bracket and you'll see that the holes line up with the bracket to put your screws in. You can install with the supplied screws that come in the kit. So there's two screws that mount the luminize to the bracket. So then we're gonna connect the hoses to the partitions that go through the machine. So we're just gonna slide those hoses onto these fittings. The next step of the process is to install the transformer uh, on the right hand side of the bulkhead and there are two screws pre-drilled into the bulkhead for the transformer. Um, I've put one screw in here already and then you'll see a slot into the transformer which it goes into that screw and then you can rotate the transformer down, line it up with the second screw and it will be ready to install the second screw which is pre-drilled. Next, we're gonna connect the output side of the transformer to the luminize module. So you have the wires from the luminize module coming out right here, and then we have a plug that only will plug in one way, so there's no chance that you could mess it up and plug it in the other way. Also, we, with the kit included, is a little wire secure that can go on the back of the bulkhead with a sticky back piece of tape and then you can secure the excess wire into it. The next step is to take off the front of the control box cover. There's one screw holding it in and of course we made sure that everything electrically was disconnected earlier so there's no chance of us getting any danger. Take the one screw out and remove the electrical box cover. Then we're gonna feed in the supply wires to this transformer into the back of the electrical box. There is a hole in the back of it and this is the black and white wire you wanna feed in. Not the black and yellow wire, but the black and white wire. So we're gonna feed that through into the small hole in the back. And then we'll feed those wires through so the next part is going to be hooking up these two wires onto the L1 and L2 live terminals on the contactor when there's power on it. So just to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to take one screw out of the contactor so that I can swing it round on the base of it. Now if you have smaller hands than me, you could probably get those wires on those two terminals without doing this. I'm going to loosen the back screw to make it easy to swivel. And then I'm gonna plug the white wire into the L2, or sometimes they call it a neutral terminal. And you'll see there's a blank space right under here for me to plug it on. And with the black wire or the L1, we're gonna plug it right onto the L1 terminal that has all these black wires going into it on the little space underneath and just slide that connector right on that terminal and make sure that they are secure. Then we're going to slide the contactor back into its original position, line up the holes, and put the mounting screw hardware back into the contactor base. Then when we got all our connections in place and they're good and tight, we'll put the electrical cover back on the machine to keep everything nice and safe inside there. Just slide it back in and then it gets its one screw right in the front of that electrical panel terminal with a 5 16 inch nut driver screwing it in. So we powered the machine back on. You can see the display unit back powered back on, um, indicating the machine's got power to it. And now the Luminize also has power to it at this point. So it's gonna run all the time, 24 seven. Even when the machine's off on a full bin, it's gonna be running and sanitizing the ice machine and ice bin. So with the Luminize running, you can see the two tubes coming in. The unit itself has a fan inside of it, and it pulls air out of the ice machine making zone, air that could be contaminated with airborne yeast, and that air will get moved across the bulb in the Luminize unit, and then the air will get expelled back into the unit, treating that air 
inside the food making zone. So you can see the inlet and the outlet of that unit. Once that's all in place, you can put the cover back on that's supplied with the Luminize kit that has the little groove cut out for those tubes in it and it just snaps into place. So on the top of this Luminize unit, there is service diagnostics built into it. It has lights on it telling you if it's in good order or if the bulb needs to be replaced. So a blue light means it's good, in good order, a flashing red blue light means there's a problem with the unit, and a red light means that it's time to replace the bulb or there's a problem with the unit. So now that we've finished the installation and put the panels back on, don't forget to turn the ice machine back on so it doesn't create a service call. Just simply press the power button so it gets running again. And then you can swing the door closed and reinstall the screws back on the top and the bottom of the finished front door. Now that we have the Luminize kit properly installed, can you tell me the benefits of it, Jonathan? Sure, so the Luminize was developed to stop airborne yeast and mold growth in the machine. So it treats the air that could be floating in the machine. It's okay to treat the water uh, with water filtrations, but really you wanna treat the air. So if you've got a store where there's a lot of yeast in the air, like you're baking bread, or maybe even you have beer that's coming out of tap somewhere, and there's a lot of yeast in, this, in the store. The yeast likes to float into the ice machine and grow inside the ice machine, and the Luminize treats that airborne particles from flowing in there um, and destroys it from growing the mold in there, Lexi. Perfect, so is there any maintenance that we have to do on it? The only maintenance you have to do is replace that bowl once every 12 months, and that's it. So you don't have to inspect it every 30 days or anything like that. You just replace that one bowl every 12 months on the machine. Great. Well, as you guys all saw that it's easy to install and also very easy to maintain. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you.